Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayan, and I am going to talk about Maniac Cop, which I finally got my little hands on. I've been trying to find the first movie for so long and could only find the sequels on Shudder, on Prime. Finally got this. This has Robert Zadar, Tom Atkins, and Bruce Campbell. Could you get a better cast? No. Maybe. But no. So, the movie is obviously about a maniac cop who was sent to prison and presumably killed there, but surprise, he wasn't really killed. He kind of escaped, was kind of let go, and now he's wreaking havocs on the streets on firm, former co-workers as well as some seemingly random people. Our detective, Tom Atkins, is trying to figure out exactly what's going on because throughout the beginning of the movie, we don't really... Well, we know that it's not just any random police officer, but the rest of the public is now completely freaked out and any police officer they don't trust. Which, that kind of resonates today in a very sad way. So, Bruce Campbell is a police officer on the force. This all ties in. Robert Zadar is the maniac cop. I'm gonna leave it off there. I'm sure everyone has seen this movie, but... This was a freaking treat. I really enjoyed watching this movie. My likes are the effects are pretty good. There's a tiny cat under me jingling around. That's what you hear. The effects are great. Of course, it's the 80s. So like that's one of my favorite decades of practical effects. I thought that maybe the effects on Robert Zadar aren't the greatest, but he has a really he has very distinct features, which I think prosthetics are a little hard to do on. Just like that jaw has to be really hard to work with. But they did a really good job with what they had. I thought the acting was great. As always, Bruce Campbell's a little campy, but like I love that. So that, that made it great. I thought the story was a little interesting. Not my typical cup of tea horror movie. So that was nice stepping out of my comfort zone. There were no you know, real zombies in it, I suppose. It's just, like, great cast, good acting, good action, lots of action. Kept you on your toes, which is always a bonus. What did I dislike about this movie? Um, some of the stuff with the woman that played Bruce Campbell's wife was weird, and they never really went back to it with Bruce Campbell's affair. It, it was it was very strange but also great gore came from that so I guess that's a bonus I, I really don't have that many dislikes for this movie I felt like it was a really good time super campy hella campy was totally ready for that was totally into that if that's not your type of movie you're probably not going to enjoy this as much as I did I'm going to give this a four out of five I found my copy in physical form in the archive. I, I don't know. It's probably available, you know, if you looked it up on Amazon. It is available on streaming services if you pay for them. Or maybe you know a secret one I don't know about that I could have saved my $4. But it was a $4 well spent. What did you think of this movie? Leave me your comments down below. Have you seen the sequels? How do they live up to this one? Let me know. I'm probably going to look for those two and review them because this was really fun. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Like the video if you did like the video. Like the video if you like campy movies with Bruce Campbell. Um, hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator, my solo and Reviews with the Groom are available in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators as well. And um, I'm going to go have some campy fun of my own. See you later, guys. Music